Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Timberborn. I am, of course, your old Papa Cheddar, and in the last episode, we just narrowly averted the ultimate catastrophe, the loss of, like, all of our stinking beavers. Like, all of our beavers. But we've finally gotten back up to well above where we were. We now have 18 total little beeves here. That's right, three little baby beeves. Oh! Three little baby beeves, you believe it? You beeve leave it? <laughs> yeah, no, eh, maybe, okay. But here we are about to enter into the next dry cycle. I posited just the last moment. Hey, we're loading something. Huh, look at that, eh, there it goes. And uh, last moment here, our dam is completed. So let's see now if, if my calculations is correct, which they're probably not, but they might be. So all this water right here in this little nook and crevice between the dams and this little uh d d divot dump dump off i don't know this thing uh it should should all stay so without further ado let's do it yes come on bring on the the dryitude baby oh yeah we also uh, expanded our farm over here look at that yeah now they just swim across here they got more farm and we're doing potatoes potatoes that's right and access to berries so our food is looking pretty stinking good right meow uh, i believe our water situation is not bad not bad we might think about getting another pump though oh we did get another pump though ah look at that oh past papa cheddar's doing all right all right and let the dry commence drought started drought drought i, I like drought come on come on no whammies no whammies no what Hey, look at that. We got a full Yahtzee, baby, which means we're going to be able to keep pumping water up throughout the dry season cycle. Dry cycle. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. That's not stinking bad, ladies and gentlemen. And then we can bridge across one of these little ravines here and open this up to some Fjarmen. That's right, some f stinking Fjarmen. I love it. Absolutely do. And maybe turn this into a great reservoir. We can do oh so many great number of things. Eventually, I want to open up this too. Maybe you have some sort of like ultra windmill or turbine dam thing going on. I don't know. It's that's the fun. We can figure it out as we go. So for big expansion, we're going to need big materials, ladies and gentlemen. So we're expanding over here, going to get a new forester. And we have some uh, natural chestnut trees right here already. So I added in a few more chestnut trees. I wonder if I can see that. Can I put? Yeah, there we go. So I added in more chestnut trees. And these rows right here are some maples, baby. Some maples because the maples give us that good big wood. You know what I'm saying? So that should uh, not only will we get food with the gatherers flag on them, their chestnuts uh we will also get a bonnie lot more wood which reminds me we should probably have a place to store that wood which isn't in this tab it's probably in storage yeah that would be a good place to look ah look at that nook that nook it's almost like i planned that ah, it's almost like i stinking planned this out right here i <clears throat> i didn't plan it i got lucky <laughs> oh i made a little bit of a goof i never marked these trees for uh you know destruction yes there we go all the green means that, well, it's marked for destruction. Just that. Now, what I'm trying to accomplish here is, of course, to get this gear workshop and progress ourselves, um, at least to get to the, not the printing press, the paper mill. So that will unlock ourselves. Ah, here it is. Explosives and dino. Oh, wait, we need metal for that? Oh. Okay, so... That's now unrealistic. We have metal right up here, so that's not too terrible. Um, but I think I gotta reconsider our progression system. <laughs> uh, okay, well, we'll start with gears. Um, because gears, I know we need that for a lot of more advanced stuff. So we can, well, yeah, we'll start with gears. Gears are good. I like gears. And I want to power them, ladies and gentlemen, with our, these windmills here. Oh, goodness, yes. I want to try these wind... Oh, yeah, what the heck? Let's unlock them. Look at that. Look at that windmill, baby. Mmm. And I mean, shoot, we could have just a little windmill terrace up here providing wind power. We don't even necessarily need the water, you know? So that's pretty cool. I like the thought of that, although our logs have dwindled after this large construction thing. Why aren't you planting? Oh, yeah, we have a... It's in a drought. Kind of need water to plant trees. Okay, you get a pass this time, Zengu. But just this once. Just this once. Wow, dang, our food just plummeted right here at the end of the drought. So thankfully, water's going to come back in and save the day. But now that our, pff, 23 beavers, 
23 beavers. We're going to need to kick this food into overdrive. Now, I did start this farm right here at the tail end of the, um, of the last, I guess, moist cycle. You want to call it? You know, we'll call it. We'll call it. Uh, but that, uh, I don't think is going to do. We're going to need to we're gonna get some extra farmers rocking on this puppy. So let's rectify that, shall we? There we go. We're full on the farmhouse full on the water pumps and um that should be cooking along nicely we can open up the grill in here soon we got a stink ton of chestnuts 54 54 chestnuts and we're about to be getting all these potatoes and not to mention the berries oh the berries um you know what i might just do a little let's unpause that and let's move this dude over there and he can start gathering these berries because these ones are gone we pick these puppies clean i might even get rid of some of those expand the farmland i don't know you used to be able to plant berries, but I don't see anywhere you can plant berries anymore. So maybe they're just now like the beginning uh, start game food or you, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the noob food. It's a noob trap. It's a trap. Everybody run. Don't fall for it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. But yeah, so berries. That's cool. But farms. Maybe we'll just open the rest of this up to farms. That might be a good idea. I mean, these guys' farm is bigger than these guys' farm. Yeah, farm bigger than ours. Yeah, where do they get off? I think this is all potatoes. I'm pretty sure it's all potatoes because potatoes give us quite a good turnabout. Turnabout? Turnaround. Yeah, a good turnout. It's like one potato to four potatoes. Yeah, it's a one to four potato to potato sequence. Yeah, we'll throw some carrot. I mean, it's good little tasty snack. A little carrot action will fill in that that crop zone. And look at this, it's like an agricultural district right over there, right along the water's edge. Just hugging. We'll have the industrial zone up here on this rooftop terrace. Oh, I'm excited. What are you doing? Eat. We have no food. That's fair. Okay, with that being said, huh? I'm going to reopen the grill. We're going to stop the lumberjack. And you are now going to give us grilled chestnuts. Yes, because we don't yet have any potatoes. But we got the 63 chestnuts. So it's a one to two chestnut to chestnut ratio, and I hope that'll sustain us. Homeboy here. Okay, oh, oh it's Rujabu. Hey, oh, Rujabu. My sweet Rujabu. You need to start picking these berries, my dude. Like now, yesterday. Matter of fact. Oh, what? This is moving again. Oh. And that's a good, that means, okay, we can, we'll pause the power wheel. That gives us one unemployed. Where, oh, where should our little guy go? Um, we'll put him right here, because we need food. He needs to get these berries. Yesterday. Oh, we are now, however, also at our cap of population for uh, beavers. Um, I actually think about turning this guy on. Ooh. Ooh. God, it's a, it's a fine balancing act, this. You know what I'm saying? Where can I lose a dude? Oh, from here. Okay. Let's start the lumberjack, and we'll stop. Oh, Lapood. Goat. No, that's Lapood. Okay, swear, sweet Lapood. He's sleeping. My little Lapood. Oh, yeah. Now, Segawa shall come here. Chop down the mighty chestnut. And, um, yeah, get us our stinking logs, dogs. Logs, dogs. Imagine if every log just looked like a dog. Yeah, I can't either. Anyway, we have no food. Okay, that's what you want to see. Um, these guys better get busy. Start cranking out them chestnuts. Roast them over an open fire, Ar Ak Ak Riger. Go, Ak Riger, go! Look, he just went in there. He's cooking the chestnuts. They're progressing steadily. Oh, it takes, uh, 33.33. Ah, there's the chestnuts. Oh, we have two, two grilled chestnuts. And the crowd goes wild. Oh, he saved us all. Well, he saved a couple of us. Anywho, he's doing good. He's doing good, and we're getting berries now, too. All right, I think I think we're going to be okay. Okay, these guys, you guys got to go take a break, dog. Go go get some grubs. Oh, no, our flow seems to have stopped just a wee little bit over here. We really got to, I need to extend these out. But, I mean, with our newly planned windmill farm up here, we might just move that whole operation. You know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, I don't know. I mean, we're still in the resource gathering stage. Um, currently, they're going to start swimming across over here and we can get at all these birch trees. Although really, like birch gives one wood. So there's maybe like, oh, I don't know, 40, 50 wood right here or something. But berries and pine and metal. So it'll open up a whole new 
Realm of Horizons. I do, I love, I absolutely love that they can swim now. That's so cool to me. I just, it's so cool. Yeah, it's adorable. I mean, let's see if we can catch one. Oh, there he goes. Ah, I was too, I was zooming. I was in the fast speeds and then I missed it. Ah, oh wait, he's about to swim. Nope, he's not. He's getting water. He's doing his job. He's doing a good job. A good stinking job. One other thing I want to say, I love how big the district center is. Like, it can go all the way from here over yonder. And I mean, if we made this path a little better, I bet we can push it out even more. That's just nuts. And look at that. We just, we now have access across the river beds, the river mark, if you will. Oh, and that opens up a whole new realm of, well, river, I guess. <laughs> I haven't quite decided what I want to do over here. We do need to chop those down once, oh, hey, unemployed beeve. All right, let's, uh, well, would that be, he might be better suited somewhere out. Mm. Nah, let's go full fern gully. Yeah, there we go. Fern gully. That is what we will do. We'll clear this out. And we can just focus on the rest of these here trees. Why are you hungry? Oh, Hovaru. Go eat. You're going to die. That's what it says. This beaver will die. You're going to die. You don't want, I don't want you to die. And you, Vulzal, you're going to die too. And you're thirsty. Wow, are you not paying attention? Are you not paying attention to what's going on here? Maybe we got a... I mean, he does work on the outskirts of the territory. Huh, I don't know. I don't know what to do about that, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be honest with you. All right, we're doing it. We're unlocking the gear workshop for science points. Oh, look at... That looks really cool. Let me zoom in there. Yeah, look at that. Big old gears. I really like the art style aesthetics of these... Of this game here. So, gear workshop. Kabam! Let's see, and it needs... 120 H a piece. Well, my dear, sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, we can do that now then. We got to be somewhat strategical about this. So if we have a bunch of windmills that are like, pop, 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 you know, we're going to need them connected to some sort of turbine system. Let's do a power intersection shaft like this because I imagine we can branch off in other directions as well. So if we go kaboom and we go uh, kaboom, that should satisfy what we need, and then we can just stretch this axle down along, you know, either way, stack more windmills if need be, move the remainder of our production up here, and uh, hopefully, I don't know what the wind physics are in this, so like, I mean, uh, let me get, there we go, that's a better picture. With this, with a windmill right here at the edge of a, ah, giant cliff face, I don't think you're going to get much wind here, unless like the wind comes and blows and vortexes and then shoots against the windmill, causing ultra-violent speeds or something. I'm not sure how this will work. Um, I, there's one way to find out, and that's to do it. That's to do it, yes. Oh, here we go. We're finally getting some potatoes. So, uh, Ackle, Jir, time to grill them. Uh oh Time to grill them tates. Them taters. Oh, I do love me some good old-fashioned taters. And, uh, well, I'll update you here in a minute with this. Oh, yes. I'm running into a little bit of a bottleneck issue. Um, well, this log pile isn't filling up fast enough, and then this guy for the lumber mill has a bit of a, lo a walk. I almost said a bit of a log. No, <laughs> that's what he's lacking. A bit of a walk to get them. And the majority of our wood right now is sequestered over here on the outskirts of the territory. Um, yep, 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 you know what I'm saying? So I don't know how to rectify that. Like homeboy's doing good out here, just cleaning house. Cleaning house. We're going to be able to reassign him soon and do something over here. What, you may ask? I don't know. Maybe we'll make him gather berries. Ah, food's looking pretty good, though. But we really need... Ah, the wind... The wind power is ready. Oh, but it's not blowing. Did I do this? Oh, it's a blowing at 93 HPs. Oh, sweet dude. We now have our beautiful, beautiful wind power right there. Oh, yes. Nice. Oh, look at that. It turns too, dude. What? That's crazy. I think I'm going to like these windmills. I think I'm going to like these windmills a lot. So if that's pushing out, let's do a quick little maths here. Oh, it's pushing out 120. Oh, that's just the, as high as its demand is going. This is getting everything it needs. Our lumber mill down here needs 50, 50 HPs. Oh, boys and girls. We, uh, oh, excuse me. I don't know. Something took, took hold of me there. Um, Let's move our lumber mill operations upstairs here. Kaboom, and that'll get us closer. 
I mean, it's, it's kind of the same distance to the logs. It's not that far. You now we could even move the log pile like over here. Then it'll be closer to the wood and closer to the guy who's going to use the wood. And by doing this, like this guy uses planks, right? If we're making the planks right next to where we need them, then he's going to just run out here, get a plank and boom, gear, boom, gear, boom, 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 boom. So if we move the logs here also, and then he's just kata, pata, pata, you know what I'm saying? That could, that could work out well. Plus, I think we're going to be at a log capacity here shortly. Yeah, let's just sneak in a little log pile right there. What the heck, right? Why not? Ayayigi. Do I not have enough power? So this needs... Huh. Okay, hang on now. I can do this. I can do this. All right, so when it wants to blow, it's blowing pretty decent. But if we get a second windmill right here, then I think we'll... Yeah, I think that'll be nicely. Neat. Okay, and then we'll do another one of these power shaft intersections. And we'll just keep this rocking and rolling. That's only one log for a straight power shaft. I mean, we might as well. Just combine those two, make it one super gear. We'll combine the torque, the power. And look at these little animations too. That's just, it's so cool. It's so cool. I like this so much. Okay, we just need these guys down here. Run, run little beaver, move your, he's just walking. That's like a stinking mosey. He's just, I mean, lollygag. I guess if you're up there for 18 hours a day, just walking, you might want to pace yourself. So. I'll give it to him. You know, you get you get a pass. You're all right. You're all right. Look at all of our resources up here, ladies and gentlemen. 500 food, 180 logs, almost 600 water. And then we're getting the chestnuts. We're bringing in some gears now. Got the planks cooking a little bit. And then our potatoes. Potatoes. So I think we're on the up and up. I might, once we get this cooking with bacon grease, we may just look for a new way to expand. Let me look at all this stuff here. What can we do? <gasps> We can start getting metal, perhaps? <laughs> Maybe? Yeah, we will need metal for the explosives factory, that's for sure. So paper and metal. Paper and metal may be our next victims. Or not victims, culprits. Yes, because we can get up here and I think if we... Yeah, I believe that this district, our, our uh, you know, not dead yet, Sylvania district center will in fact reach up here. All right, so with both these windmills going, we're getting up more power than we need, but they're just so darn fickle. Like, they're not always producing wind, because, I mean, obviously the wind doesn't always blow. So, uh, I guess in terms of reliability, they both have their drawbacks, be it the, the water wheels or the windmills, you know? So windmills, yes, it'll work during the dry season, but it's not gonna work 100% of the time. And the water wheels, if you do them correctly, I did not, unfortunately, um, they will work 100% of the time, but they won't um, work during the dry season. So it's good stuff to know, good stuff to keep in mind. Not bad, not bad. Um, although I do, I think we may have like a birthing crisis. I've been cap locked at 24 beavers for a little minute now. And I'm worried that if my beaver population gets to, he's 57, 14, okay, 40. So um, I just don't want to get like into a situation to where uh, ba -da -ba -ba, my beavers die off in a mass die off because they're all the same age because um, they were all born near around that extinction event we had. <laughs> um, and then I don't want them to, oh, you know, not have enough people to repopulate. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I need to do something about that. We're going to expand this terrace zone, which I think is going to be really, really cool. I like, I like how we're stacking houses up right here. There we go. Our lovely little housing complex is coming up. It looks kind of like a half pipe, you know, like on your skateboard. You can just be like, ride the rails, bros. Haha, I do like that. Our warehouses, though, like, look at all this food. Holy smokes, ladies and gentlemen. Our warehouses are filling up. And um, one one flaw in this design, to get to see my warehouses, I gotta, like, come in now, you know? And I was planning on building over this and just, like, spiraling up and up and up and up and up. Um, But that kind of blocks my warehouse. I mean, I guess I could come in from the side. Yeah, I could come in from the sides. That wouldn't be too arduous, you know? Not too, too bad. Yeah, look, look, we just built houses and we already have two children. These beavers were born to get a busy. Oh, yes. Oh, no, we built this and it's not even working. Come on. I wonder if there's like graphical glitches with these or something. You know, like it needs a kickstart. 
kind of thing. Because, well, it, okay, it looks like it's not getting any water. Oh, okay, that's fair. That's fair. I just used all my logs on that. But apparently we got to go over a couple of more or something. I don't I don't know. Maybe we should have just done platforms and, and a uh, turpentine. You know, serpentine. One of these. Uh, power shaft. Yep, power shaft. And there goes the water for yet another draught. But fear not, for we have this little cushy guy. Oh, it was working. It was getting me... Oh, well, now it's eight HPs. Will it keep going? That'd be kind of cool. Looks like it's spinning the wrong way, though. Maybe it's just circulating. Ah, is it? Okay, there's no water to show, apparently. Maybe I broke it. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Um, okay, so it's making like a little vortex that was spinning back on itself. I really like the water physics in this game. I think that is just so stinking cool. I like it a lot. And now, thanks to our mighty, marvelous wind power, we can continue production of stuff. Look at that. Ooh, 254 HP. So it's a little wonky donkly. I think it said, well, I can go up to, to 200 or something. Oh, shoot. I forgot about this. <laughs> Dang, I forgot I built stairs up here to start getting metal. That's okay. We're going to need to do that, too. Neat. So much good stuff going on right now. Absolutely love it. Wow, beaver explosion, baby. Talking about a beaver explosion, we're gonna need gigs for all these cats. Or, I guess, they're beavers. So, there's that. All right, we're unlocking the scavenger flag. And, um, I guess we can just, like, load him up right here, you know? Yeah. Oh, look at how fast he was. He was waiting for that. Let's do a couple of them. Um, and then we might want to do a little storage warehouse down below here. Just sneak in a little guy so that way they don't have to go too far because I'm pretty sure storage holds metal. La, 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 la. It's uh, alphabetized metal. Yep, holds metal or scrap. Do any in scrap? Yep, there's scrap too. Okay, so we'll be good on that front. Wow, we have a lot of play. Wow, I don't even. We had like zero when I last looked. I guess we're not using that many planks now. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I mean, you look away for two seconds in this game. I mean, I guess when you're on triple ultra fast warp speed things are going to change pretty darn fast you know what i'm saying and you look away for two seconds and your entire colony beavers are dead you know that's that's how this game works all right now we'll have two inventors cooking rocking and rolling hi lepud lepud i love lepud lepud's one of my favorites i adore lepud my dear sweet little lepud so many beavers that's awesome we'll just have to in keep incrementally in E keep I can't talk at all really is what I can do keep incrementally increasing the amount of housing slash beavers and uh figure out a way to make a staircase right here yeah gotta figure something out right there I might just take a little stab at that right now why not what do we gotta lose except all of our resources and the lives of our beavers yeah not much not much I should turn this into a forest area honestly because it keeps water That'd probably be a good idea. Mm. But no, I'm gonna mess with housing stairs. Yay. Look at these lads right here, these champions. Getting us the beginning of our metal, our scrap metal, stockpiles. That's cool, dude. Oh, I like this. I like where this is going. This is, I like we're just progressing so well, right? Oh, I don't wanna jinx it. I didn't knock on wood, where's the tree? Give me a tree. There's no trees, where's, there's the trees. Ah, knock, knock, knock. Oh, phew. Crisis averted. We almost jinxed ourselves, ladies and gentlemen. And one thing you know about a jinx, you don't talk about the jinx. Just like Fight Club, you know, but with jinxes. Yeah. Where was I going with that? I don't remember, but hey, scrap metal. That's really neat. Start tearing down these stinking puppies. Wow, dude, these beavers are so efficient. Look at this. That's so cool. You know, man, I, I really like levels in things. I don't know what it is, but like complex levels. I mean, this isn't complex, you know, by any means of the word. It's just cool. It's just really neat. You know what I'm saying? And there we go. We've done it. We've built a yet another forester because I'm getting really, really bottlenecked on logs here. And we got to do something to rectify that. So another forestry operation over yonder. And I did also find um, that you can plant blueberries. Yeah, I found it. It's right here with the trees, so that's cool to know. It's not just a noob whatever I said earlier. I forgot what I said earlier. Um, no, it's not. It's actually, it's a real thing. 
and you can do it. So, ladies and gentlemen, anywho, I'm going to end it here. Uh, I think we've accomplished a whole heck of a stinking lot here today, and I do also oh appreciate you coming by, spending your time with me, your old Papa Cheddar. Ah, let's look at these beautiful little beeves. Ah, just chilling and grilling by the campfire, baby. Uh, good way to end an episode, huh? But if you did enjoy the video, please slap a like down. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. That'd be pretty stinking neat, I think. Don't you think? I think. So does this one. Rujabu. It's a Rujabu. Oh my god, Rujabu's so old. I mean, it's young. Today's age. Well, not for beavers. I don't know. But he's pretty old. Oh dear sweet Rujabu. You will be fondly remembered. Anywho, cats and kittens. I'll catch you on the flippy flop. And as always, I love you. Bye.